okay um i'll go by the name then cdk your favorite homeboy <laughs> um we are going to do a simple hip-hop no i'm a piano beat so when you start your fl studio this is how it would look like in case it does not look like this just start a new template I, let me just use it, this basic template so you can play around with these things to see their functions so this is your channel rack your piano roll your view playlist your playlist and your mixer and this one our plugin picker and the rest so let me remove this from the mixer so in my packs you can decide to start with either your piano or anything but now let me just start with the drums so we are using stock plugins so let me look for shakers most of my piano beats have shakers then look for the beta sound let me just pick this one and replace this one with it so i can i can drop it here to just add it and then let me see set tempo let me see let me just use one tapping so let me make some little tweaking to this and see whether it will sound with it this is not how I want it so I can right click to open my piano roll here then maximize it and then let me play with the velocity a little bit so there are a lot of functions here you can panic the velocity the release the frequency cut off and name it so here now I will just work with the velocity so let me reduce and don't worry after I'm done you understand what I'm doing let's make a little swap so what I did so you can place them so this one let me play with it a little bit okay you have to save your project let me see i'm a piano um let me see sample one oh, no mind my spellings so then maybe we'll look for small percussion I'll replace this one with it. So let me be putting them on the playlist. So we have started with the shakers. So let me change it to song so that you play my arrangement in the playlist. Then let me save it in case of power or whatever you need it. So now I will add a new pattern. This is where to add it. Let me see my other percussions. 
Uh, uh, I can put color to make the thing look colory and it's blurry. Then I'll drop it here so that as I'm adding the percussions, I'll be hearing the sound. Then I click back my channel rack to view it there, and then I'll start playing with it. See? Let me place it. it first then placing the kick since I need something continuously like this let me just fill in the step by four let me just tune the kick to a little bit this is this sample start
So to me, it sounds a little bit better. So let me add some little instruments. So now let me put this one. Add another pattern. Name it in. So let me how you want to name it. So now we'll add maybe our piano or anything we want to add. So this is where we we'll get our instrument. The most easier part or you can press plus here or just right click at the top or any position you want to insert it and then let me just use hum yes let me just add this one then look for a sound or sound a little bit better let me just use this guy below let me hear the sound Okay, wow. <laughs> yeah, I know you are familiar with that sound. Um don't forget to be saving your work. So Okay, let's make this simple sound. So I'll just press the velocity and then I'll just drag it so that you be this chord all through. Oh, I'm not hearing the sound because I forgot to drop it at the playlist. So Now let me add a little a recording loop so that I will record without waiting to, for it to start before I will record. Let me just put record notes and automation. Then add some little things. short using this slice tool because I want it short or small tiny I don't want the length so, and click on it and then where you want
can change the pitch by I press Ctrl G and up to change the octave for the sound somehow so let me change the machine let me replace it with this Sakura so let me just use this default sound Let me 
spice it up let me increase the steps Too. Let me remove the kick from there. I'll cut. Then add new pattern. Let me name it. Rename it as kick. Then maybe let me select a color for it. Then paste my 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 kick. So. okay let me begin the arrangement to make it be a bit now that everybody can sing on so this is how the beginning will sound like so let me put this one in the beginning since i want this one to sound all through and this one too all through Let me give it a break here. So and let's hear it. Then from here, then other percussions will start. Then here, let's see this thing will start. Since 
believe I want this place to start all up to continue. Let me duplicate it like four times. So let's take this as intro. Then this place will be here. So this one, this one look though.
one let me see let me add this to it and hear something So, in my master channel, I will decide to add maybe multiple compressor and check some small preset there. You can play around with all these effects to see their use. I'm just putting it so you hear the difference whether the speed will sound nice or yes i can hear two bit difference you can tweak them so that it will sound a little bit better yeah, usually Assume we are done with our bit and you want to export it to listen to your work in your phone, then you come here, you see export this as other phone. You can export it as wave, mp3, audio file, fact file, midi file, and all the rest of the CD project package. some adjustments and uh, most I'm just increasing the bit, uh, bit rate so that the quality will sound a little bit better then after that that's all well, you can just click start and it will just export it for you and then you can send it to your phone since this one is just a sample bits now I would like you to I will drop this project so that you can add what you want to add on it just add something and then make it a little bit better and then send it to me back so um, i just use stock plugin so there's nothing confusing about it just add something anything you feel like you add to make the beat sound nice or correct in what i just did just tweak it anyhow you want and then let me know if you have any questions you can drop it at the comment section thank you